The scary videos on this top 12 list are so weird and creepy, they might make you drop whatever you're holding and run away screaming. Number 12. In this scary video, an employee wanders off for only a few moments, but long enough for this chilling CCTV surveillance footage to record evidence of the paranormal. No sooner does she round the corner when a heavy glass object drops off the counter and shatters on the floor, almost like it slides across the table or was thrown. No one else is around when the well-balanced object seemingly throws itself on its own accord without explanation. And the scared employee is visibly shocked when hearing a loud bang and comes back to find the glass somehow moved. The item itself was a large glass dome-shaped lid used to cover baked goods. It was designed not to tip over and had been sitting there undisturbed for quite some time. Some more backstory. This video is from the Ellicoya County Store in Guilford, New Hampshire, which was built in 1745, and the building is said to be quite haunted. She's still scared and to this day cannot explain how this happened. Can you? Number 11. The Sacramento paranormal investigators live across the street from a neighbor's house that everyone says is haunted. And while investigating the place from the outside, the ghost hunters see strange things through the window. A ghost sighting, they say, because no one was home at the time. Things get creepier from there. Ever since seeing the gnarled figure in the window, some more scary moments have been caught on live stream. And this time, it's haunting their house, not the neighbors. The same strange and twisted shape is caught on home security camera reaching out to them in their bedroom. And the camera records this eerie figure in the doorway with long black hair that drops away. On a different video, the alleged ghost opens the door to haunt them while they sleep at night. Moments later, an unexplained light anomaly floats towards them over the door that just opened on its own, only to float directly in front of the camera. Was this a ghost orb? What kind of scary stuff is going on in these videos? And is their place now as haunted as their neighbors, or is everyone freaking out over nothing? Number 10. Weird and scary moments continue to unfold at the Jefferson Hotel, a place so haunted that even the owners themselves cannot explain all of the strange things they've caught on camera. But more on that in a few moments. This first scary video was caught on camera by paranormal investigators while taking an overnight challenge at room 19, a room where the spirit of a bride is said to haunt this antique bed. It's late at night when the covers mysteriously raise and drop on their own, she says, though it looks like the investigator could be simply moving their feet while asleep. Upon closer review, it sounds like there are some strange knocking noises at the same time. Was something paranormal visiting her? But back to the owners. At a hotel as haunted as this one, even changing a light bulb can be scary, especially when strange things happen in response to questions from the owner. Dan, what's going on? Do you see me right now? Can you? Okay, I'm going to take two as yes. Can you say yes one more time just to confirm? Flash it twice for yes. One, two. These lights share the same wiring. If one turns off, so should the other. Yet that's not what's happening here. They indicate that they can see the hotel owner and then stop answering his questions. Not too far away from the flashing lights is this big candlestick holder placed in front of a heavy locked door. The door is weighted to only swing open in one direction and one direction only, meaning the door does not swing back shut on its own. Let me open the door and show you. I can open the door all the way and it does not shut. But one day, two scary things are caught on surveillance camera that leave everyone weirded out. Not only does the locked door somehow open on its own, but after knocking over the candle maker, the door somehow shuts all by itself. And now the door shuts. 
Scariest of all, before any of this happens, the faint outline of a mysterious figure can be seen walking by the door. A shadow person, they claim. Moments after the horizontal line moves across the door, it opens and objects go crashing to the ground. Hopefully this is caused by vibrations from loud music, but as for the other scary stuff, like them, I can't explain it. Number 9 the Sally House in Atchison, Kansas, is said to be one of the scariest places on Earth, according to most ghost hunters who have dared to go exploring. The Kalani Ghost Hunter accepts the challenge and bravely goes investigating the legendarily haunted location, all alone at night. They set up all of their paranormal equipment in the children's room and wait for scary things to get caught on live stream. This room is where Sally lived until she was six at which point the child lived no more. Hey, the K2's going off. Okay, Sally. The Kalani Ghost Hunter sets up a spirit box, and the EVP response he records after 20 minutes of live streaming is some scary stuff, especially if it's Sally's voice like he fears. Do you like these pink lights in your room? Are they pretty to you? Bro, let's go! A girl's voice asks hello and then says she doesn't want him to enter, sending the investigator beside himself with excitement and fear. Do you want me to come in the room with you? He goes in anyway and gets more weird noises on the spirit box. He tries recording in a few different areas and wraps up the investigation after a couple more hours of live streaming. The only paranormal activity caught on tape happens to be in Sally's room, and she doesn't seem to want to play anymore. Number 8 Ted Engelhart is kayaking in New York when he rounds a curve and goes under. He's almost able to level himself with his paddle when the current finally overtakes him. At the last possible moment, the kayak gets caught on a rock and he maneuvers upright again, but now he's trapped in a crevice and furiously paddling forward to avoid flipping again. When he turns around, the rocks take him under and he has to get out quick. He needs to think fast or else he will not survive for long. At one minute into the video, he grabs the kayak but comes up short. He misses and stays alive by hanging on to the wall. Eventually, he gets to safety with a harrowing story about how he survived impossible odds, all caught on tape. Number 7 There are a lot of unexplained mysteries in Antarctica. And to this day, expert scientists still cannot solve a strange and mysterious 400-foot-wide expanse of oddly-shaped ice in the eastern regions of the frozen continent. The aerial photo shows the strange circular shape in its entirety, a bizarre sight in an otherwise unblemished patch of ice and snow. The weird discovery looks to be split into six segments surrounding an undisturbed middle. The question is, how did this event occur? The weird side of YouTube says this is evidence of something large here, like an ancient civilization that collapsed long ago, or even an unknown aircraft touching down. Another more scientific explanation is that this was a giant iceberg slowly melting, or ice cracking. Nobody has traveled to Antarctica to verify what this is, and they probably won't anytime soon. So whatever they found hidden in the ice will remain a mystery for years to come. Another much weirder discovery was located on Google Earth, and the discovery of this location, also somewhere in Antarctica, has people twice as freaked out as before. As you zoom in, the frozen ice gives way to this odd and eerie rock formation jutting from the ground which, over time, becomes a creepy face staring back at you, one eye open and one eye closed. The mouth is straight and an even line. Is this face just a creepy coincidence in the snow? 
Or is it a strange sign signifying the start of a hidden history that simply shouldn't exist? These two unsettling mysteries have amazed researchers and creep me out. Number 6. A strange encounter caught on video in Limpopo, South Africa is being called a mysterious desert creature sighting, and it's freaking the internet out. In this weird video, a motorist gets a fright when they see an unusually large animal moving fast alongside a pack of wild African dogs. When the animal pack stops running long enough to get closer, the camera person is stunned to find this odd figure looks like it's humanoid in shape. At times, the creature looks more like a human, and yet it was running across the desert with great speed on all fours, comparatively faster than a jeep moving alongside the road. At 2 minutes and 9 seconds, the creature looks comparatively giant, or at least larger than the average human. Most people would not be able to walk on their hands like this for very long, and no one in the village recognizes who this person could be. When they sent out a search party to investigate, the pack of wild dogs had already gone someplace else. Was this simply a man playing with dogs? Or was it a very scary individual raised by animals? Or was it a fearsome desert creature like the neighborhood believes? Number 5. In this weird video, scary stuff happens while speaking to a ghost who is said to haunt this street at night. A ghost who can make strange paranormal activity happen when asked politely. At least if these freaky moments caught on camera are real. Tell me that you are here. Holy f If this paranormal experience is to be believed, then a ghost turns out the lights upon command. That's some pretty creepy stuff to consider. But is this strange activity really a ghost? Street lights can turn on and off by themselves on a timer, so maybe he memorized the time and made a spooky video. But then there's some weird stuff called high voltage syndrome a phenomenon in which people think they can make streetlights turn on or off, sometimes with the help of a ghost. That couldn't be what's really happening here, could it? Take that light's power. Tell me that you are here. What the f when the light turns back on, the ghost hunting equipment detects a mysterious figure at the base of the post. Is this a real sighting of the ghost that haunts this street, or just an unexpected coincidence? Number 4. This creepy video is why the Grand Canyon can become one of the scariest places on Earth at any time. There's the skywalk over there, friends. Oh, holy mo- Two seconds into this scary video is a Grand Canyon visitor who trips himself with his back foot while running and nearly takes himself out and his friends. Despite the close call, they continue to run around moments after almost plummeting over the edge. Number 3. Is this creepy photograph real or fake? That's what some scared internet users are trying to figure out on the r slash paranormal encounters subreddit where this creepy photo was first caught and uploaded. The photo's backstory is equally disturbing as the image itself. While exploring Fort Williams in Maine, a redditor curiously put their camera up to a crack in the door, and what they caught has creeped them out. According to them, Locked away in the dark secret room is a pale face in the darkness. Why such a mysterious figure was standing there all alone cannot be explained, and has since led to some speculation that this was a possible ghost sighting caught on camera. Is that real? asks one person in disbelief. This is so creepy, responds another, who agrees this should not exist. Skeptics say this is not a real ghost sighting but a figure wearing all black in the dark, and maybe a Michael Myers mask. The scary thing is, Reddit has been able to somewhat verify its disturbing backstory. This picture is most likely not Photoshop, 
At least not according to a website that detects hidden artifacts left behind by editing tools. Everyone is wondering if this scary photo could be fake. And if not, what kind of scary stuff is locked away in Fort William, hidden in a secret room? Number 2 Ryan and Shane travel to the infamous Bel Air House in Ohio, an old estate where highly aggressive spirits are known to physically lash out at whoever underestimates them. The pair are hanging out in the living room when Ryan hears the anguished cries of someone who sounds far away, yet at the same time all too close. Disappeared as he walked out. Ryan immediately begins to question the spirit and receives further confirmation that something is there with them, watching. Let us know you could say something, you could move something. I heard it again. I heard it again. They move on to the attic and try to summon a girl named Emily Davis with a spirit box. What happens next seems to be too much of a coincidence for either of them to ignore. As soon as Ryan addresses her by name, the voice of Emily fills the room. If you're here, say something. And less than three seconds later, she says something that sounds like it could be, please help me. The two ghost hunters look at each other in disbelief. Whatever they just heard should not exist. And yet they both just heard it and recorded these scary EVPs as further proof. Number 1 The Sorrel Weed House has a haunted history that's so unsettling the place has been investigated by Ghost Adventures and BuzzFeed Paranormal. Built in Savannah, Georgia during the 1830s, the Sorrel Weed House is where ghost voices, demonic entities, and other scary things combine to form one of the most terrifying places in America. Two women, Molly and Matilda, lost their lives here and now haunt the place as angry ghosts. The ghosts of countless others are said to haunt this place after a conflict during the American Revolution. Ghost hunters claim to feel watched and even attacked by spiritual hands clasped around their necks. Hidden cameras have caught paranormal activity on tape in almost every room. So let's take a look at some of the scariest and creepiest video evidence taken on ghost hunting tours in the Sorrel House. In this first scary video, a tour guide is saying nobody can touch the furniture when a poltergeist loudly disagrees. Uh, these rooms, the furniture is going to be off limits to us tonight. It is The group thinks the angry ghost of Matilda throws a heavy item to the floor off camera, and everyone jumps in response. Moments after they're done screaming out loud, a ghostly orb floats overhead and disappears. What was this weird white light anomaly, they wonder, if not a ghost sighting? In a second creepy video, caught on camera a year later in the same room, a woman is touched by a ghost she suspects. The clip is creepy because a possible ghost unclips her earring and the items drop to the floor. The ghost hunting group laughs nervously, but this unsettling event could be more than just a coincidence. More allegedly real paranormal activity is caught on tape in the haunted kitchen area, while the tour guide is giving a history of the Sorrelweed house. Check out these weird moments. Something creepy touches the woman, a ghost pulling the woman's hair, she thinks. And later she's creeped out because a clip is missing from her hair. Also, just like in the first video, a weird wandering ghost orb floats in front of the camera moments after a possible real ghost touches the woman. At the beginning of this video, there stands a tall shadow against the wall a figure that steps towards her moments before she feels touched. Was this shadow her own, or that of a ghostly phantom? 
And on another night, more creepy stuff happens in this room when three different ghost hunters think they see a mysterious figure in the exact same area. They see a shadow man that is unfortunately not caught on camera. But when they go exploring the dark area where they heard the tapping noise, they discover more paranormal evidence in the far corner. This fell, a little stick here, I'm trying not to get on the camera, but this stick, if you can see that, fell off the wall right there. A piece of the house literally broke off when they asked for a paranormal sign to manifest. And just like almost all of the other scary videos from the Sorrelweed house, a mysterious unexplained white light anomaly is seen behind them shortly after the haunting takes place. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more of everything Bill knows.